Hi, I'm going to be doing a few of these diet and fitness related videos. I'm by no means any sort of fitness expert, but I do want to answer the questions I've received about eating habits and exercise. My current leg workout is extremely simple, um, it's effective, and only takes a few minutes, so there's no excuse for me to not do it. I just pick out a song, so for about three and a half, four and a half minutes, I continuously do squats and lunges, just regular squats, regular lunges, and um, while it's very effective, um, it's also great if you don't have a lot of space to work with, you don't need equipment. Great workout, you really can't beat squats in my opinion. Um, once that starts getting too simple, I like to add weight. So um, I have these 10 pound dumbbells, uh, which I bought at Walmart, very inexpensive. I don't know where my other one is at the moment, so right now I've just been holding on to this one while I do my squats and lunges. As far as cardio, I've been loyal to the elliptical for years. I like to use it on the highest setting to give my legs a really good workout, but um, it's definitely not necessary to go buy an elliptical or go to the gym. If you don't want to bother with gyms, another thing I like doing is just getting on YouTube and searching for 10 minute workout videos. There's tons of them out there so you don't end up getting bored and feeling like you're stuck in a rut. You save money and you can do it at home. One thing that's really important is to not throw yourself into too much at once. Um, if you all of a sudden decide you want to get fit and start exercising three hours a day and starving yourself, you're going to eventually burn yourself out. That's not something you can realistically maintain for the rest of your life, so start small. Um, it's better to start off slowly and build from there because if you're working out um, for three hours a day, where do you go from there, you know? Um, so start out slowly. For example, start with a 10 minute workout video or something like that. And Another thing that's really important is to set realistic goals and expectations for yourself so you don't end up being disappointed and um, losing motivation. If you have a body more like Giselle, don't expect to do a bunch of squats and end up with a Kim Kardashian body and vice versa. Um, you're going to kind of have to just work with what you have and get the best body you can possibly have. Um, there's no way in hell any amount of squats and praying is going to give me a Kim Kardashian body. So although she does have a great body, she's not someone I look to for inspiration because our body types are just not similar at all so it's kind of pointless so work with whatever body type you happen to have set goals that are actually attainable so you're more likely to stay encouraged and motivated and not want to give up entirely um, that's really all for now I really just wanted to answer the questions about um, my current workout routine right now I just play a song do squats and lunges throughout it and um, four or five times a week I use the elliptical on the highest setting and my next video um, on this topic will be more about a uh, diet instead I'll probably do it early next week and that's it for now